beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are key or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions those will be once off and not monthly. Um, you can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God. So within the energy, I'm channeling um, I'm channeling someone who's a hot commodity, like a popular guy. So someone is well known, okay? I'm channeling an energy of someone who's popular amongst the community. Um, a masculine energy that a lot of people know. And as I said, a masculine um, that a lot of people know, masculine energy, from that I did further channel um, a kind, a breed, a type of a, of a man. Um, his kind, his type, his breed is easily detectable. It's like, um, as the woman, you can see the Casanova from a mile away or the Playboy, lover boy. You can see the player energy from a mile away. Like that's what I'm channeling with this popular guy, hot commodity here. Um, we have the four of cups. So this guy is going through some form of ego death at this time because no one wants him anymore or no one wants him the same way. It's like this was a man who used to throw his energy around, um, spread himself thin and not care, you know, until it got to a point where he's given himself to so many that no one wants a part of him or no one wants to be in his energy it's like women are declining this man access to them women that used to give it up easy or allow this man to do whatever he wanted to them these are the same women that don't even want to have a conversation with this man but this man his hot commodity, his popular guy energy, it stemmed from his ways with women, amongst other things, right? Whatever else is tied to his identity, this is also one of them. He's a womanizer, all right? So this is a womanizer. I'm channeling that. A womanizer that can no longer womanize because women are f sick of him, you know? Like they want nothing to do with this man when he tries to reach out to the to the you know usual people that he deals with he sleeps with all of them but when he tries to do that now they don't answer calls text messages when he approaches them with the same ways that he used to get them going crazy for him that no longer works like someone is losing their mojo you know their ways are no longer working like literally Let's tap in further to the energy. It's like 
like this was the same man that um this was the same man that women used to praise and you know uh women used to find this man irresistible and literally worship him you know uh look at him as some form of like public figure or you know this something bigger than you know a human being Because this man was throwing it in a circle with these women like these women were throwing it in a circle with this man like continuously for years and it's many women right they would all just throw it in a circle throw it in a circle like and not care um, about any health issues right this man was always non-committal he's never been in a serious relationship in his life you know, he's on to the next, on to the next, hopping, hopping like a rabbit, you know, within these women's bodies. Never considering anything outside of the fact that, oh, I have this status, I have this reputation, I have this image, you know, I have this caliber. So whatever, you know, he used his identity to kind of get his way with women in, the, in that sense. Um... We have the emperor. Yeah, this man used the position he was in to, to sexually spread himself. Like, and it was a part of his plan to be this way. It's like this was a man who, I see here, this is a man that does voodoo and witchcraft. We have the Knights of Wands reversed to the magician reversed. He's a man that does sex magic. He's a sex magician. Now, this might not be something that's obviously known about him, but it's who he is. Um, this is a man who, he is who he is because of his sex magic. He feeds himself in his power of manhood through sexual energy, okay? So, the position he's been in in his life already gave him the upper hand because he was already this popular person, this hot, you know, commodity. So it already made it easier for him to be able to exercise his sexual energy the way he did. This was a man who, if a woman would reject him, he would send her sexual dreams and she would reach out to him thinking, oh, I miss him, I should, but it's not that. This man just been sending her dreams. This is a man who, it's not just about sleeping around with women, it's taking their power from them as they, as he experiences his, as he experiences their sexual energy. It's like something happens to the, these women once this man is inside their body, like he takes something from them. He doesn't just enter their body, he leaves with something. Um, and this is spiritual, right? It's like women that sleep with this man, they never have like, good energy he takes their good energy like he feeds himself with it so this has been his pattern of living for a long time since he could remember right this is not anything new it's just it's who he is right so he does this he steals womanhood he steals sacred chakra you know he steals the womb or steals from the womb you know because the womb produces the womb reproduces the womb is life so when, that's why when women sleep with this man, the only way they can have their energy back is if they become um, celibate for three years. You know, they need that three year cleanse to remove this entity attachment because this man is a demon. So it's obviously not something they think about when they're sleeping with this man. It's all fun. It's all you know, careless, we all doing what we're doing, and it is that, you know, 
forgetting the real life consequences of every action. It's just that this is the type of man that he'll make you, he'll tempt you until, it's like he'll, he'll, this is Satan. This is Luciferian energy. He'll tempt you to the extent where it's like, you know what, you know those men where they bombard you with so much. Anything that a supposed woman, right, wants, he'll just put it on your face, put it on, like he'll, he'll drag it out. He'll give you the extravagant, glamorous, whatever, like. He's, he's a devil's agent. That's his job. He's just doing him. He's an agent of Satan. That's what they do. They tempt. So with the moon reversed here, this man has fallen sick. He has some form of sexual transmitted disease. He's contracted some form of HIV, AIDS, or herpes here. Some form of... Um, sexual disease so this this is after all these years of doing what he was doing but the thing about this man i see here that luciferian that satanic energy that demonic entity that he is he never quit sleeping around he was like oh if i use a rubber i'm sure they'll they'll live this man has slept around with several women ever since he found out his health status he still continued forward being who he is that casanova playboy love boy energy he literally just kept doing him this popular hot commodity guy you know so so many women are sick and they don't even know it or they know it they just don't know if it's him because they sleep around like this man He's never been in a committed relationship. He's never been with one person. So whoever he sleeps with, he'll give them a time period of a specific, you know, timeline saying, oh, I'll, I'll, he, he already knows that I'll, I'll, I'll be sleeping with this one for a few weeks and then I'm on to the next. You know, he has that sort of pattern. It's never longer than that. You know, he always just does that. It's his way of living. And how I'm channeling it from this man, he had already surrendered to the fact that he might get sick. He didn't care. Because of the voodoo and the witchcraft, he felt untouchable, unstoppable, as if it's the ultimate power to have good stick. Good wood, right? He perceived his wand as the end all be all. It'll make it'll get him anything. You know? So a lot of women are sick, like nine plus, and they've been sick for years because this man has been sick for years as well. Even before he found out his sickness, it had already been in him and he just kept spreading it. This man sleeps with every kind of woman that he chooses. And because he sees no bounds and limits and he continuously does this because it feeds into him. If you understand spirituality, you understand that you, when you, once you tap into spirituality, it's a different realm of consciousness. So how you experience thoughts, emotions, is not on the same vibration or wavelength or frequency. It goes a little bit higher than the normal average, you know, ex human experience or human experience is. Meaning that when this man was entering these women's bodies and leaving and taking what he was taking with him, it was a spiritual experience. He, they were experiencing it, how they were experiencing it, but this man was feeding. They would say, oh, I'm throwing it in his face. I'm throwing it in a circle. He just came and da, 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 da. You don't know, girl, but you've messed your whole life up. For a pretty face and some good wood, good stick, good wine. Now you're sick. And because this man is not just physically sick, he's mentally sick and emotionally sick and spiritually sick. He is a sick man. He just leaves his imprint in everything he touches. It just darkens in its aura. So even the woman that he sleeps with, something don't be right with them. When they sleep with this man, they don't pay attention to their bodies because they be in every other man. Or they don't care about themselves. Because I'm seeing that this man doesn't, like, he's the type to sleep with a woman who has a dude already. He's the type to, you know, take a woman that 
is already known for throwing it in a circle with everybody and like do it as well with her because he wants to see what they're talking about. Hmm. Be careful, this is a satanic Luciferian spirit of a man whose voodoo and witchcraft works him magic because every woman has given up their sacred womanhood to this man. So this is definitely a man who, his presence, if you're not a woman who's powerful in your own identity, if you don't know yourself, simply put, this man is a type of man, when he enters any premises close to you as a woman, you either are not, it's either he doesn't, he, he has no access to you spiritually, or he does. Meaning, this is a kind of man that a woman will either give himself, give herself over to him, or reject him completely. And those that reject him completely, it's like this man never experiences that because of the voodoo and witchcraft. These women do it anyway because they're under a spell. And when he's done because he's such a sneaky little bastard, he'll cast a spell in their mind to confuse them about themselves so that they never even think of speaking his name. They fear even saying who he is or even talking as if they've been in any room together. This is a sexual predator whose voodoo and witchcraft has worked for him for years to the point where he's owned it, to the point where it's who he is and it's in his blood. It's in his DNA, it's in his mind, it's in his heart and it's in his spirit and body. We have the death reverse, the nine of wands reverse. Every woman that comes across this man gets cursed and the reason for that is because it's already clear that he is who he is the woman just chooses to bite the apple they choose to be eve they already like i said this is a man you can already detect hey satan blow you can already see hey when now you can already see from afar with say hey, this one death of me and you choose to Go die or live. And trust, people be choosing death. Death reverses the nine of wands. Reverse. It's like, because they walk into death, it takes them. Like, they be men that we don't know what they do. Don't think every man that you've been with or you slept with or whatever, you know them and what they do and what feeds them and who they are. They own manhood. All this pussy power going around here in the world, it has its severities on the psychological defects on men, making a man think he's more than what he is, untouchable at that, spreading himself thin, knowing he's sick, thinking he's so powerful because he's popular that he can make everyone sick. And because women give it up, oh, oh it's their fault. Why should you be doing that in the first place? Right? That's who this man is. That's how he be. Don't be looking at these pretty looking pe men thinking it's they, the world. Those be the most, like, we just, as people, we need to have discernment. Be able to look at someone and ask yourself questions about them. you get the answer because you already have the intuitive guidance within you. But these women this man has been with have just let themselves go over and over again because he is who he is. And they be taken by the voodoo and witchcraft. And it only attaches itself to people that are of its vibration. A spell won't work on someone who doesn't vibrate on that vibration, frequency, and wavelength. If you do what the witches do, you be also a bad person like them in your life, you can get attacked. That's why it's important to stomp on the enemy and do better than them so that their things never work on you because you don't know what they come with when they enter your body anyway. Your mind, your heart, your spirit and what they leave behind or leave with them. You thinking you feel, you be feeling sick and nauseous and you have these ongoing headaches or your period be late, your cycle, your own bleed, like, and you, 
you don't it's it's not like oh no but like it feels good like when we do this so like oh let me not pay attention like then you die see oh god oh god hey hey don't bring god into this we be making our own decisions and choices while he's already illuminated the problem you just go right ahead and just dip yourself in it this man is in your energy here you need to you need to clear this demon like you need to you need to get away from someone here yo please this is someone you need to get away from We have the devil reversed and the six of swords reversed. This man, he has a deep fetish that has to do with you. This is a man that this deep fetish is to get you, destroy you in your own womanhood, and leave you in your brokenness. He wants to get inside your body and take what he takes as he always does. This voodoo, this, this witchcraft, it's like this man is an entity. He's an attachment. So when he's in your body, look at that death. It's like he takes from you. He doesn't heal you. That's why it's important to reevaluate who is in your body. In the last three years, who has been in your body? Because you don't know those people in who they are spiritually. You don't know the generational curses that you might be binding yourself to as you allow them inside of you. And what they leave behind now attacks your life and they roam free with your freedom that you've willingly allowed them to have by entering your body. It's not just entering your body. Because it's your body. You live in this vessel every day. It brings you life. So someone inside of your life. You know? So with the death coming out here, double clarity on the situation. This is someone whom you need to cleanse, beloved. If you've had a conversation with this man. And this is the type of man that his spells work so good that before you even speak to him, it's already tingling down there. Because it's like, oh my god, look at him, look at him. Like, for real. It's the spells, okay? It's not real. So be careful. You need to pull away from this man. However, however long you've had them in your life, or if it's new, recent, you know, or if they're from the past, take it out of applies. But this is someone who you need to leave alone. Don't entertain them in any way, on any level, whether emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. Do not open up yourself to a man like this. Because it will take you. This voodoo, this witchcraft, you'll find yourself doing unspeakable things for this man in the dark. Not knowing that, hey, you're sleeping with an animal, an entity, attachment. You won't feel like yourself for the next two months. And then once you quote unquote get better and you feel like yourself again, it's not really you because he took something from you that you were letting go of within that two months. That you won't feel like yourself because it had just left your body. Like guys, it's, and I'm, I'm speaking to my woman. It's your womb. It's your womanhood. If this pussy power analogy reference point case study example of how we look at our sacred as power but we don't treat it as sacred as it is it's like pointing at a crocodile knowing that oh my god this thing might kill me now but not respecting that about it 
and testing it nonetheless until it does take you. And you already knew because you already saw the power about it. You knew the power already. So many women have lost themselves with their P power. It's taken them, making them do things. So many women, their sacred energy is tied to men that treat them like nothing. Because it's all about pleasing the sacred chakra instead of nurturing it. Why don't you nurture it? Treat it as you want it to be. If you use the dumpster and everyone in and out, it's going to stink. Literally. If you consuming whatever in your body, it's going to come out of down there. That's a very important thing to look at about God's creation of who we are. Why does everything come out down there? And if not down there, out of our mouth. But why is down there the main? You just allow anybody in there. You don't know the thoughts that cross people's minds when they're in bed with you. Doing the deed. You don't know their emotions and their spirits. Because that's what you are feeding. It's all about that. You just want to feed. This is a man that is a fiend. He's fed to the point where he's insatiable. And he just wants everything. And he's targeting you. And you need to get away from this creep. This weirdo. This sneaky little bastard. Who has so much to learn in life. About what being a man is. And one day he'll look at his wand. His stick. And be like, oh my god. It's not what I thought. It's not what I thought. Okay. This was your message from God. Don't say God didn't warn you. Y'all be listening to these messages from us. And then you don't take it. And then when life hits you, you turn to God as if he's going to help you out of the situation he was trying to prevent you from being in in the first place. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon. If you'd rather join my Patreon instead, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.